Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today we're going to talk about how you can get anyone to initiate communication with you. So I'm so excited to bring you these few tips that are going to help you to be able to get back into communication with whomever you want. If you can use it for an SP, which is a specific person, or um, just to get in touch with an old friend, or you can use it for anybody that you actually haven't even met yet or, well, spoken to anyway, or yeah, even met yet. It's all completely up to you. So um, yeah, just before I do dive into this and get started, we are running a contest right now. When we get to 100,000 subscribers, we're giving away three free coaching sessions with the coach of your choice. All you need to do is to ent enter is to subscribe, to share, and then comment what you've manifested using the law of attraction in the comments below. And you can comment as many times as you want because we will just be picking someone randomly. It's not a contest, so it doesn't matter how big or how small. You know, basically what we're doing is we're giving people hope because hopefully somebody else reads your comment and say wow you know what I was trying to do that and you were able to do it this is awesome and we're just giving hope and spreading the word that you know what you can create your reality and do what you want in your reality so guys thank you for being here let's dive straight into the content so Today we're talking about how to get anyone to initiate contact with you. Okay, so this is going to go into everyone as you pushed out. Okay, so we all know how everyone as you pushed out works, right guys? So quantum physics, okay? So I have a thought, okay? And my thought, the light is consciousness is light, okay? So my thought, let's say, let's say my thought is, oh, I intend for Jerry to call me. I'll think, okay, Jerry, and then it'll, my thought will ping over to Jerry and Jerry will be like, oh, I should call Amanda. Like, mm, I'm, and he'll think about me. Okay. So that's how it works. So when you have a thought about somebody directed to somebody, that thought goes to them and then they think it as their thought. Sometimes, you know, they may not act on it. It may be a fleeting thought. And, um, you know, sometimes they, they may not, you know, they, you may, you know, put enough into it that they will act on it. So like, for instance, if I was just to think right now, you know, I intend that Jerry will call me, Jerry might be like, oh, I should call Amanda, but I'm busy because then I'm like, oh, he's probably busy. And then Jerry's like, yeah, thinking I'm busy, right? So what I'm going to explain is how to create someone initiating contact with you because it isn't always as simple as I intend for so-and-so to phone me, okay? Because if we've got stories, they are going to block that. So if we've got stories that were not a priority or that they're always busy, those things are gonna block it, okay? So now that we know everyone as you pushed out and if you would like more information on everyone as you pushed out you can read it in the neville reader um it's actually uh, ch chapter four of his book prayer the art of believing that is actually all on thought transmission and also if you look back on my channel to about maybe two years ago well back it a while ago when there's a bunch of videos um, labeled everyone as you pushed out really really good um so before we we're going to dive right in now so to get anyone to contact you the biggest thing is to clear the story okay so that's where step one comes from step one is never take anything personally okay now this is very very important because when you take something personally what you end up doing is you add another layer of story on there okay so let's just say that i intend for jerry to call me but Jerry's busy. But then instead of me thinking Jerry's busy, he doesn't call and I think, oh, when's if Jerry doesn't like me? Oh, when's if Jerry's upset at me? When's if I like made a fool of myself or I've annoyed Jerry? Okay. So the problem with that adding, you know, taking things personally is you're adding another layer of story and now you're making it that you're not good enough. And essentially you're putting it on a pedestal. So the first thing, and this is a good rule for everywhere in your life, is never take anything personally. Okay. So how I do it is I say, look at everybody is responsible to own up and tell me if they have a problem with me. And if they don't own up and tell me that they have a problem with me, I'm going to assume that maybe them not texting me back has nothing to do with me. Maybe they were distracted, maybe they were busy, da 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 da. So I'm never gonna give it the reason that it was me that made them not call back, that there was something wrong with me. So that's the first thing to do is to stop taking things personally, okay? So in the example of getting someone to contact you, making the lack of them contact you from your crush, let's say, or your ex mean that they don't want to be with you or there's something fundamentally wrong with you causing them not to message you. 
we need to stop doing that immediately. Okay. If you've done that, or you've got a habit of doing it, you're going to have to be on your mental diet to stop yourself when those thoughts come. And then you're also going to need to work on your self concept that you are good enough that, you know, people's actions don't reflect you as a human or your personality or your behavior in any way. Okay. And if it does, you know, have the thoughts that people will own up and tell you. And if they don't own up and tell you, then straight up, don't take it personally. Okay. So the second thing that you want to do is you want to revise any old story. This is especially important if it is an ex or anything like that. Okay. Or if it's like an on off again relationship, or if it's a relationship where they've told you that they're not interested and there's any, anything where there's been anything damaging there that they've actually said that you can go, but Amanda, they told me they didn't want to be in a relationship with me. That's why they're not texting me back. Anything that they've said has to be revised, okay? So you could revise it in a way that, okay, they were just angry. They didn't mean it, okay? So rather than holding on to it as gospel truth, thinking, oh, that's it. They told me they never want a relationship. You can easily say, okay, well, they were just upset at the time and they really didn't mean it. Haven't you said things when you were upset that you didn't mean? Of course. So you need to revise it. Or if you can, revise it completely and change what they said instead of them saying you know thinking they said that this is never going to happen you know go back and, and okay it wasn't going to happen at a time but they didn't say it wasn't going to happen forever right so revise it any way that you can okay so once you revise the old story what i suggest is to create a new story okay when you have resistance or an old story to something, you want to put as much new story as possible on it to help with those old blocks, okay? So why are they going to reach out to you? Why are they going to initiate? Why are you guys going to get in contact? Really take some time and revise and or create a new story. Sorry, create a new story. Or yeah, even revise is the same thing for the other party, the one that you'll you'll want the, the one that you want to contact you. Why do they want to contact you? How do they feel about your guys' history together? Have they forgiven you? Are they over it? Are they the type of person that for, so what's the story with them? The new story, okay? And why are they going to reach out to you? What are they going to say? How are they going to feel? What are you going to hear? Okay, really put everything into it. Like seriously, whether you do it in SATs or visualization, SATs again is a Neville thing. I've done videos on it before on here. So um, definitely check into that. So the thing is, right, is you want, or whether it's intentions, is you want to put as much on that new story. So the new story about you, the new story about why this person is going to reach out to you, what they think, hear, and feel, and what you're going to see, hear, and feel, okay? And then what you're going to need to do is stay on your mental diet, okay? So every minute that you notice the message hasn't come through, you have to reaffirm your new story or at least the main points of it, okay? So, okay, your story may be five pages long, your revision, your backstory, right? And your new story. Okay, I get it. Some of you guys love writing, but you just want to do the highlights, okay? So the main points, and you'll know what the main points are, okay? So the main points, okay, like for instance, okay, let's say that I was with Jerry, me and Jerry had a bad fight, we broke up, and now I want him to initiate contact, but like I feel like I was crazy and that's what made him leave. So now I would need to revise the main points. So I would say, well, Jerry's forgiven me and he wants to be with me because my main issue was is he would never forgive me and that's why we broke up. So you want to do whatever your main, you know, your main complaint is that's your main block okay you want to make sure that's at least in there that when every time you reaffirm okay you also want to reaffirm that you're good enough to have it and it's going to happen but the most important thing okay and this is where all the problems start is you want to stop taking things personally okay so now let's say for instance you've sent a text you just couldn't wait you sent a text to whoever that's fine. Now, while you're waiting for them to text back, you have to be on your mental diet like crazy because every minute that they don't text back, you've actually created that. You create whether they text back right away or two days from now or never. It's all up to you. When do you give up? When when you say, oh, they haven't texted me back, that's when you officially have given up. That's up to you. So when you text them, you've got to be on your mental diet. Every time you look at your phone, no, they're going to text me. They're going to drop everything. You may need to, you know, revise an old story at that moment going, oh, you know, I don't know. You know, they may think I'm annoying. No, they think I'm the best thing on earth. And of course, they're going to drop everything and call me right now because I'm good enough. And then distract yourself. Go do something else. Get your mind off of it until you think about it again. And then reaffirm and then so on and so on. Okay. So, you know, there's a lot of sticking on your mental diet through this. Okay. 
So yeah, and um, you know, I know one person, what they've actually done is they actually sat there and visualized the person picking up the text and texting them. Another thing that somebody has done is they will change their phone number to say like their specific person's name, their SP's name, and then they will send texts like they're that person, right, to them. And that works, okay? So, you know, anything that you can do to basically experience it, whether it be visually or, you know, just by your words or just by your thoughts or by actually physically, you know, creating the message on your phone, so on and so forth. All of that works because you're putting, and it all works the same. It depends which one works better for you is which one you're going to enjoy more. You know, that's really what, it, or you can script it too, but it all comes down to what you enjoy more. You know, it, it all does the same thing. It's forcing you to focus on what you want rather than what you don't want. And that's what you need to do to be successful is persist in the thoughts of what you want rather than what you don't want. So you want 82% of your thoughts to be geared towards what you want rather than what you don't want. So you're going to have to catch yourself. You're going to have to catch yourself because every single one of your thoughts count. You're a powerful creator. If you're going to tell me, no, I'm out of, you know, I'm not all my thoughts count. Are you crazy? They do. Yes, they do. Every last one of them do. They're all very important. They're all very powerful because you're a powerful person. Each and every one of you guys are. You know what? And all of us here at Create Your Future, we want you guys to be successful. We want you guys to be happy. We know you can do it. We know this is a journey and you guys are all on it at different points, but we're here to help all of you guys. And that's really what we love to see is we love to see the success. Anyways, guys, that's my video for today, but I'm just going to recap really quickly, okay? So how to get anyone to initialize communication with you. First rule of thumb, never take anything personally or lack of action personally from anybody, okay? Get out of that habit right now. Nothing is personal. Go by the school of thought like I do, that if someone's got a problem with you, that they're going to be mature enough to actually just tell you. And that'll never happen, <laughs> right? And then if they don't do that, then never assume it's about you and some kind of character or personality flaw that you have that's creating it, okay? The second thing is, is revise your old story, okay? Three, create a new story. Create why they're gonna initiate, you know, texting you. Like, what's their reason for it? Give them a reason. The more thoughts that you're thinking about them and how they think, they think it's their idea. You're basically sitting there whispering in their ear everything and you're making them think it. That's what you're doing. So when you sit down and you go, yeah, Jerry wants to forgive me. Jerry's like, I should forgive her. Jerry feels like he was too hard on me. Jerry's like, oh, I was too hard on her. You know, I shouldn't have been like that. You know, so, you know, put the reason, you know, intend the reason why they're going to call you. So then they've got that reason because you don't want that they should call you a fleeting thought and then you're bouncing off to their business busy and maybe, you know, some, they're taking it personally. And that means that their thoughts are going down that road too. You don't want, nobody wants to go down that road. You want them focused on what you want, right? And then you want to visualize and intend, you know, that it's going to happen every time you notice the lack. Okay. No more questioning, no more anything. Every time you notice it hasn't happened, recreate your intention, reaffirm what you want to create, reaffirm what, what they feel about you, reaffirm why they're going to initiate communication with you. Okay, guys, so that's my video for today. If you would like to ask me, Amanda, a question, definitely check out the link in the description below. Um, I do answer questions on the Patreon group. And also, if you want to see my life in action, Jerry's Adventures is now back and up and running. So definitely check it out, guys. Again, link in the description. And yeah, if you would like coaching with any of the coaches here, they're all absolutely amazing. Check it out. The link is in the description. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.